Hello, this is Josiah Smith with MotionWorship.com, and this tutorial is going to be all about taking a countdown, maybe a five-minute countdown or a ten-minute countdown, any length countdown, and just making it a little bit shorter. And hopefully this will just be a quick, easy tutorial. Uh, it's a simple little trick you can do just to take any countdown and make it shorter. It's not possible to take a countdown and make it longer. In that case, you'd have to magically add numbers, and that's not something that we're capable of doing yet. Maybe sometime in the future we'll, be, we'll have magic numbers. Who knows? But for now, we can take countdowns and make them shorter. So let's take a look at how to do that. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in two different programs. One is Media Shout, and the other is Easy Worship. Now, if you don't have either of those two programs, it's okay. Uh, you can still use this technique. You just have to figure out how to make it work with your particular software, and I'm sure it's not going to be too difficult or too different than what I'm doing here today. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go get my video file. So I'll double-click Video File. And the countdown I'm going to use is Grid Countdown. Now, as soon as I click this, I have some options that appear over on the right. And this is kind of specific to Media Shout, uh, but it's a nice feature. And what I can do is there's a little player here, and I can scrub this little handle over. And uh, let's say this is a five minute countdown. Let's say I want it to be a three minute countdown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrub this handle over until it gets to right about three minutes. And then I'll play it. Listen to some funky music. And then I pause it right at three minutes. So now I've got the countdown uh, set at three minutes. Now down here where it says in, that is where the video is going to come in. So if I click this little button, it grabs this time value and inserts it into the in, which is the starting point that it will play the video. And then also while I'm here, I'm gonna set the thumb to this location too so that I can kind of see what I'm doing later. So I'm done, I hit select. And now I've got a countdown that will start three minutes, uh, it will start two minutes in, which makes it three minutes long. Now, if you forgot to set the in, don't panic. You just right click on the video, edit cue, uh, go into the foreground, and then you have to make sure that the view is set to advanced. If it's set to simple or standard, you won't have these options. But on advanced, if you go over to the right, you can set the in to any position you want. And then I like to put a dissolve transition on there. Uh, let's set the speed just a little bit higher so it doesn't take so long to dissolve in. And those are pretty much the settings. Uh, you can also set the transition here and the speed there. So if I hit OK, let's see what we've got. I'll double click this. And I've got a countdown that nicely fades in. Uh, starts with three minutes remaining, which is exactly what I want. And it even works nicely with the music. That uh, particular video happened to work nicely with the music fading in at three minutes. So um, that's how it works in Media Shout. Now I'm gonna jump over to Easy Worship and see how it works there. Okay, so I've hopped on over to Easy Worship, and I've got my schedule over here, my preview window in the middle, and then my live output over here on the right. And I'm gonna go to Media, and I've already uh, in, imported my video, but if you wanted to see how I did that, just right click, add videos, and then I went and picked my video and hit open. So here's my video here, my grid countdown is here again, and I'm just gonna drag that up into the schedule. Now in Easy Worship, you don't set in and out points, at least as far as I could tell, I couldn't find a place to do that. Uh, please comment or, or send me a note if you know how to do that. But I couldn't figure it out if it's possible. So if it's not possible, this is how you do it. You select your video, and then down here in the preview window, you can hit play, and then you just pause it right away. And then you can drag this little scrubber over to the right. And we scrub, scrub until we get to approximately three minutes, right about there. I'll pl oh, I went too far. Go back, go back, and then we'll play it a little bit, and pause right there. Now that's not gonna play any audio, you don't have to worry about it playing through your system, it's just the preview window. Now, uh, it's all ready to go, so basically if I am 
ready to go live. I'm just going to minimize this and play the live output on my screen. If I go live with this, it's going to start right at three minutes. So let's check it out. Ooh. Yep. So there you have it. Now that, I don't know how that sounded to you. That was sounding pretty choppy on my end. But if I wasn't doing a screen capture, I'm sure it would have been beautiful and played perfectly just like it's supposed to. <laughs> anyway, that is the trick that you use. If you want to start a video at three minutes or just one minute, two minutes, four minutes and 26 seconds, any length countdown that you could want uh, to shorten a five minute countdown, that is the way you do it. Um, so there's a the little... There's the technique of the day. Please feel free to make a comment right below this video if you have any other questions or comments or suggestions on this technique. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye.